I'm on a journey to learn game development with Unity and today I revised everything I learned on day 6. Plus I added wall sliding and wall jumping mechanics with the help of a tutorial. Like with every tutorial, I took my time to understand what the code actually does. Since this has to really stick, I repeated the steps from day 6. I started off by creating my 2D level using tile maps and then assigning the tile map collider to it. Don't forget the composite collider. They combine everything into one big collider and therefore improve the game's performance. Then comes the player with the appropriate ground check. Then I set up all animations in my animation window and then created the transitions between the animations in my animator window. Then I took my player movement script from day 6, applied it to my player and set it up correctly. So now I have a level and a character that I could move in it. Perfect. Now that the recap was done I could modify my player movement script to add wall sliding and wall jumping mechanics to it. To do this I watched the tutorial and tried to grasp the concepts that were applied here. So after following it and modifying my script as well as adding a wall check game object to my player, I had a working wall slide and wall jump mechanic. But there were some things that I didn't really understand and so I took a sheet of paper and wrote down my questions. What does physics2d.overlap circle do? And what does mathf.clamp do? Everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. When it comes to physics2d.overlap circle, I understand that it projects a little circle into an area to check if any of the colliders fall within that area. When it comes to mathf.clamp, I understood that it returns a given value if it is between a specified minimum and a maximum value. Even though I think it is super important to understand these concepts, I also think it is important to practice problem solving skills. I didn't do that because I followed the tutorial and therefore let someone else do the thinking for me. Tutorials are helpful for newbies like me, but at some point I need to be able to create these kind of game mechanics by myself without any help. That is why on day 8 I plan to add my own mechanic to the game, without any help. It doesn't have to be overly complex, I just want to get used to programming on my own again. What about you though, are you currently working on anything, trying to learn a new skill? How is your learning journey going? That would seriously interest me, so feel free to journal alongside me. Let's all inspire each other. With that being said, have a great day.